Okay, let us look at the negative ions and ions. Okay, so again, N ions are formed when the atom actually gains one or more electrons from another element during a chemical reaction. So they are usually formed from non-metal atoms because only non-metal atoms will tend to be gaining electrons to have a stable electronic configuration. So again, when we are going to write out the N ion, the symbol will be the same as the periodic table. The number 3 will be the number of electrons that are being gained and negative sign shows that it is an N ion. So let us look at some examples like for group 5. All the elements in group 5 already have 5 outermost electrons so they will tend to be gaining 3 electrons and so they have a 3 minus charge. Okay. For group 6, they have 6 outermost electrons so therefore they need to gain another 2 electrons so they got 2 minus charge. Well for group 7, they already have 7 outermost electrons, so they just need to gain 1 more electrons, so they will have a minus 1 charge. Okay, and, and also there will be certain polyatomic N ions that we should memorize. It is given in the table here. Hydroxide ion, it's a OH minus. Nitrate ion, it's a NO3 minus. Sulfate ion is a SO42 minus. Carbonate ion is a CO3 2 minus.